this is the speed I like to go on this road, but I'm always stuck behind a car. Get an engine, you hippie! <laughs> He's probably like, what did they yell? What is that? 636? Are racing? <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. That's it. That's all I got. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's on a white motorcycle. That's about all I know about him. He's on a white bike. We will have to find out here in a minute. Two shakes of a lamb's tail here. How's it going? Oh, you got earplugs in. Okay. Well, we'll never know, Mr. Earplugs In. Well, we were having fun together for a minute. He was back there behind me dancing. I really hope I don't get caught in that rain. I've already said that. Oh, you know, I'll wait till we get to Kansas. We'll go over to Kansas. Bye. Whee! I've been doing this since 2009, motovlogging that is. And I was in a really good mood today, which is why I threw the camera on after work and thought I'll go out and record myself a little motovlog. I got home, I checked a couple things online before I actually decided to go out. Man, I shouldn't have done that. Here's the thing. Used to be, I had a supermoto. So that was really cool. Everybody's like, what's a supermoto? I didn't really ride it hard. I still don't because I don't believe in, I made that clear in my last video. I don't, I don't ride like an ass. That's, it's not my thing. And that actually may not be the last video. Now that I think about it, I've probably put up others before you see this one. Cause they're all, it's like when I get around to editing them, which we'll get to that in a minute. So along comes Jake the Garden Snake a couple years ago, and he was huge all of a sudden. Hi. I made a friend. And then I was like, well, that's okay. I'm in Kansas City. He's down in Texas. I'm in Kansas City. That'll be unique to my videos. There's some really cool parts about this city. And then in the year hiatus that I had, and in that year, along comes Walterific. Now you're going to see the same things in my videos that I'm sure he's already showed you. And I can't be like, let's go supermotoing and go exploring and we'll have supermoto Sundays. And now everybody's like, oh, you're doing supermoto Sundays like Jake. Not that I'm, it's not like the popularity thing, but it's like without a big subscriber base, you can't, you're not going to be able to do it for a living. I really like that it's smaller because I feel like I get to know a lot of my subscribers and I get to know fellow moto vloggers and it's still more about the community thing. At the same time, part of me is, and it's not, cause it's not a money thing. It's just, I don't want to be rich. I just want to be able to be like, quit my job and just do this. Cause I could make so much better videos if I had more time to be like, I'm just going to ride around the city all day and see if anything cool happens. Because that's what Walter Riffick can do. He can spend all day cause he quit his job and he just moto vlogs now. And he just started last year. Hi. And he can spend all day riding around the city to see if anything cool happens. I don't have that luxury. Either it happens in these short times right now when I'm out riding, or it doesn't happen. I could travel, I could visit people. Oh, that would be amazing. And then like being a girl isn't even a thing because there's so many female moto vloggers now. It doesn't matter that I have boobs. It doesn't matter that I have a super moto. And it doesn't matter that I'm in Kansas City. I got nothing, nothing. The heart of it is I realized, okay, so what is success? Yes, I would love to be able to do this and not have to be slave to a nine to five. Well, I mean, it's actually a nine to 6.30 and actually it's 8.30 to 6.30. But if I could get by without having to do that, if I could, could and I could write, because I really want to be an author and you can't do that on a, on a thing. It's okay. Go ahead. Okay, I got away for traffic. That was a cute moment. I don't see a no U-turn sign. See, in Illinois, U-turns are never allowed. That's why they don't even list them on the signs. It'll tell you if they are allowed. Here, you are always allowed to U-turn unless it says you can't. Like, even between the states that need their border each other, there's totally different traffic laws. And then don't even get me started with left turns in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, you live there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your dog is so short it's lost on the grass. <laughs> but anyway, if I have to have a job, like a day job, at least mine is good. I work at a shop, 
I get to be around motorcycles all day and I get to help fellow riders. That's cool. It's a thing. It's needed. It's not my dream. At least it's tolerable. It's not like, you know, I don't some I'm not like a bank teller, you know. No offense if you're a bank teller, but I hate money and I hate counting. I'm like the weirdest Jew in the world, I know. So that's actually a running joke among my friends. I'm proof that not all Jewish people are rich. Hey, there's a traffic circle. Did you see that? They had a traffic circle. Oh, I think it's blocked. I think I scared this person too, because I'm actually gonna be turning around here apparently. Gated community. Speaking of rich. No engine braking like that? Look at me engine braking. Oh, I'm such a rebel. Did you see that sign? I will break the rules by letting off the throttle. But then I've thought about it. I'm like, okay, so I'm not rich and I, I'm not gonna have my dream job. I mean, I'd love to, maybe someday I will. But I'm not, why would you watch me when you've got people like Walter and the garden snake? I still don't know why people do watch me. I don't, I don't do the crazy things that they do. I do interact with people and I have tons of awesome lost footage of driving around and talking to people. But now it's like, it's like, I my mom, I might've vlogged about this before. You feel hipster. You're like, man, I was doing that before it was cool, but nobody knew about it. These people are going very fast. There are tons of bugs. Don't you hate when bugs swarm around your helmet at a light? Oh, these bugs. Mm. Oh my God, there are like a swarm of them. They're on my helmet. Ah. Anyway, ah. it's not that you hate the success of other people, but yeah, of course I'm a little jealous. I can't lift my visor because of these bugs. <sighs> I think I got a bug up my nose. Okay, all of that to say, how you handle yourself, like your character is more important to me than the rest of that. The rest of that man I would freaking love to be able to vote a vlog for a living. Love it. That would be like my dream job. I would, I would wake up so happy every day when that's probably never gonna happen because of other people's success. And it is at their expense. Like, you say, oh no, you can have success too. One person rich doesn't mean, no, because the market only bears so much of, well, I understand of economics, you know, you can't have like a whole row of nail salons because some of those salons aren't gonna make it, you know? I did get a bug up my nose. Ugh. So you can't have an endless supply of motovloggers. I don't do anything unique and I don't have time because I work so much. I'm still part-time on the books, but I work over 40 hours a week. Funny how that works. More than success, I want to not be a bitter person. I, bitter, B-I-T-T. -T. Sounded like I said better. I said bitter. A v tech yo. <laughs> oh, you're texting. Nice, what a sexy beast. If I'm not going to be successful, I, I don't want to, I don't want to let like bitterness and jealousy ruin, like poison my, my heart. I don't want to turn on Grinchified because then you're definitely not, who wants to watch that? Nobody wants to watch somebody who's grumpy or feels like, man, this sucks. Like that's not fun. It's just not worth it. Like how you handle adversity says a lot about you, whatever that adversity is. I'd rather be a person with good character. Honestly, that sounds so cheesy. You probably think I'm making this up. I'm not, I genuinely mean it. And like, if you've got something in your life, here's your little Lori Jennifer soapbox for the day. You got something in your life that you're like, this freaking sucks, I would do anything to change it. Let's say something you really can't change. Whatever adversity you're facing, whatever it is, whatever that negative thing is in your life, like don't let it poison you because it will if you let it. And so don't, don't let it because if you can't change the outward circumstances and you really only can to a certain point, you can at least change the inside circumstances. You can always control your reaction. And so you may as well focus on your character and being a good person, because that's the only thing you do have control over. So make the most of it. You know, if you've got an adversity, that's the time to see what really comes out. You know, what when you're when you're in under pressure, do you get really angry? Do you swear a lot more? Do you take things out on people that really have nothing to do with it? Whatever, well then, okay. You wouldn't have known that was there if you hadn't gone under pressure. Do something about it. Change that part about yourself because that's something you can change. If under adversity, what comes to the surface is something ugly. Well, you know what? At least that adversity gave you a chance to see what's really in there. And so now you know, so do something about it. Change, now's your chance. And so I'm realizing that I'm really, really bummed that there's all this success exploding around me that's gonna eat into my chance to ever live my dream. It's like somebody bought the last, let's say there's only one motorcycle of your favorite left and somebody else bought it. 
That's what it feels like. And you're like, how do I not just want to go punch them in the face and take the bike from them? You know? And, you're, and you've been saving for months, but somebody came along and they won the lottery, and so they bought the bike. And you're like, no, I've been saving for that forever. You know? And someone else came along and bought the last one because they won the lottery and it was really expensive. That's kind of what it feels like. This is an incredibly honest mode of vlog. <laughs> I can't be like, yeah, no, it's cool. I'm really happy for him. And in one sense, I am. But another part of me is like, bah, 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 bah. but you know, my videos suck compared to his. Anyway, that's how I feel. A little peanut butter and jealous. I want to not be jealous. This road is boop, 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 boop. I wouldn't want to go down this on a sport bike. This must be really annoying. Boom, boom, boom. It's like my bike is humping the road. That's what it feels like. That, that didn't come out right. <laughs> oh yeah, you like it like that, huh? But we are not going to turn right on Stateland Road because there is no turn on red. What if I was colorblind? Hey, get an engine, you hippie. Wait, that's not a... Uh... Okay, that one is actually a normal car. Uh-oh. There's a big puddle of something underneath their car. Nobody coming? Are they okay? You're okay? Okay. Okay. Well, then now we have to get on the highway. Oh, I just wanted to make sure. Or he's stealing it. Doesn't want me interfering. you hippie and spike's like why are you torturing me w-o-t you can't do that on a sport bike and then have cars fly past you <laughs> wow this is really loud oh i guess we're not in kansas anymore now we are hello hey he got it running again yay that's the guy yay well i need to turn right this is totally left what am I saying right for? I fail at life. Look guys, I'm turning right. Oh, I, it like drenched up and I lifted my visor before I went through, not, not thinking this through. And as soon as I hit the water, this deluge, like this perfect wave came up, like a solid white ball of water and just smashed like right, it like pressed it right, right in my eye.